1,200 meters. They sprinting away from the 1,200 meter marker. Guantanamera jumped awkwardly. Mike's Choice is at the back of the field early on. Regal Eagle is right there. Coffee Shake. Norman's on the extreme right hand side. Midnight Runners on the left hand side with the red sleeves and cap. Then Guantanamera, one cool dude, and Mike's Choice completely outpaced. 800 meters to go. And Norman's on the inside. Regal Eagle, Midnight Run, and Coffee Shake. Not much between those four. Three lengths away, Guantanamera. The others are outpaced. Mike's Choice and one cool dude. As they approach the 500 meter marker, Normans, Regal Eagle, Coffee Shake, Midnight Runners on the outside, and then comes Guantanamera at the 400 meter marker, though, Midnight Run. Down the inside, Coffee Shake, and then comes Normans. Guantanamera is trying to get into the race, but it's Midnight Runners. They come to the 200 meter marker from Coffee Shake. Down the inside, Normans, one cool dude's running on, and Guantanamera's coming through, but one cool dude's coming on powerfully. Guantanamera, Midnight Run, but one cool dude came from nowhere to win it. Midnight Run second, third Guantanamera, Mike's Choice, Coffee Shake, Normans, and then Regal Eagle. Well, one cool dude, that and Mike's choice, they were a long way behind them, and one cool dude just picked him up in a matter of strides, and wins it well over distance, well short of his best, he's now won five from ten, after 13 weeks off the track, came back from the Cape, and wow, he was impressive, number two, one cool dude, Midnight Run will take second position, number six, third to number nine, Guantanamera, if I uh, recall correctly, Muzi almost fell off when the gates opened. Then Mike's Choice, Coffee Shake, Norman's no extra. And uh, just in the latter stages, Midnight Run also runs around. So it's Midnight Run, the leader with the red sleeves and cap. And Guantanamera immediately behind that. One cool dude, pink sleeves and cap, is still many lengths off them there. Midnight Run is running around, sticking to the left hand, and then starts to drift again. And one cool dude now comes on really powerfully, and he wins going away. So it's one cool dude. The strike smartly in 70, 70. That's the running of race number eight. We've got nine and ten to go. The ninth is next up. Until then, back to the studio. Well, one cool dude coming back from a break. What a very good horse this is. He's now won five of his ten races. And uh, a flying finish with Brandon Arena for Infants Golf Bank and his partners. Brandon, well done. It's been a day of being caught on the line a couple of seconds and whatever you say. It's good to turn it. Yeah, it's funny, eh, Mr. Leff. Um, those ones that I, that I fancy to win today, they were just touched off. And the one you least expect to win, you know, he, ma he made my day. I mean, I must say, incredible win from, from where he was. I mean, they did go quick, but, you know, he still had it quick and to, to catch them. And uh, if a win for the merit, well done to Duncan and Mr. Finskalkwe. Well, you're a long way off, sort of, at the junction, Mr. Thought, a little bit, a bit to do. Yeah, so left, he sort of stumbled out the gates and immediately there were five, six lengths in front of me and going halfway through the race, he was giving me a good effort already. I, th I said to myself, he's going he's gonna to kick down and he's going to run a good race. And uh, before I knew it, I was, I was looking for a run. So, phenomenal win. What well done to, to all concerned. You're going to ride the rides in the last two? No, Mr. Leff, I am finished. But while I'm on here, I'd like to please thank my new sponsor, CC Crane Hire. Thanks for the support. CC Crane Hire. CC Crane Hire. Yeah, well done. Sure. Thank you. Here comes Dunk. Well done, Dunk. This is a, a very, very good racehorse. I've always rated him, Paul. You know, um, I thought he did well as a young horse. Uh, unfortunately, in his first run, he got a bit of a hiding in the race, and from then on, he was just duck for the stick. Yeah. I must say thanks very much to Kevin Shea. He's done a lot of work on this horse. He's always rated the horse, and uh, I think what you're seeing is more confidence now, and the horse is able to produce the ability that he's got. Yeah, it was a fantastic win, and the sky's the limit because he stays well. He's he's by a stallion that can throw them to go over ground, so it does look good out of a Western winter mare. Yeah, look, he's very well bred. Uh, just well done to Ian van Skalkwijk, um, Barry Nestat, and Bernard Cantor. They bought into the horse. Unfortunately, at their first run in Cape Town, the horse had a virus. Yeah. So they allowed us the time to bring the horse back the correct way. 
I wasn't expecting him to win today, but I think everybody saw he won a courageous and good race today. Yeah. More runners? Well, we've got one in the last. I think, uh, you know, if, if uh, Craig gets a bit of luck in running, he's got a chance. Excellent. Thanks for your help. Thanks. Just uh, thanks to our sponsors winning form. Lovely. There we go. We had Cray and I are winning form and uh, well done to the owners. Well done to uh, everyone uh, involved with one cool dude and uh, beautifully bred horse who's shown that he can beat a field of sprinters from coming off them.